Ari Fleischer is a former White House press secretary under President George W. Bush. And Pat Cadell is a Democratic pollster and a Fox News contributor. Gentlemen, thanks so much for being here. Uh, Ari, let me start with you. So the president says he's happy to, to possibly tweak. He's going to listen to ideas. But he says, look, at the end of the day, it was an ugly mess when it came to the process, uh, which it had to be in this kind of politicized environment. But the outcome was good. Megan, you have to understand how big a repudiation this is by historical standards. You have to go back 72 years to find a midterm election where any party lost as many seats. In fact, the Democrats last night lost more seats than the Republicans did in 2006 and 2008 combined. And to put in a little more perspective, in 1982, Reagan's first midterm, unemployment was 10.8 percent in October of that election year, and the Republicans lost only 26 seats. Here, the Democrats have lost 60. This is a powerful, rare, huge rejection of policy. And it's not process, it's not communications. The real question is now, can a man who really is a doctrinaire liberal, who believes in what he did genuinely, and you saw that in the news conference today, can he pare it back, can he forge compromise with majority Republicans now? And it's too soon to say. I don't think anybody knows whether Barack Obama can do that. Uh, the words start out well, as we would hope after an election. A lot remains to be seen. Pat, I, I mean, I don't, I, I don't think anybody expects President Obama to sign any law, any bill into law that's going to repeal his signature piece of legislation, the health care law. Uh, but it, uh, my question for you is, is he, is he not getting it? Because all these, view, these viewers are emailing me saying he, he doesn't get it. He doesn't get it, and the exit polls show it, and the results do. This was not just the economy as important as it was, was not the decisive factor in this election. Health care was. If you, we, I had a special rundown of the exit poll. We had slightly a Democratic exit poll, but about half the people favored repeal, so they favored repeal. So we broke those people out by party. Among Democrats who favored repeal, 36 percent voted for Republican. Among independents who favored repeal, 86 to 9 voted Republican. You could see Democrats going down who voted for health care the health care bill being wiped out and to back up the point that I already made look in my lifetime this is this is the first time my party will have less than 200 seats in the house health care is a major thing you look at the economy look 34 percent of people who said they're in their financial situation worsened voted democratic I can show you lots of evidence just look at Nevada and California two of the highest Nevada the highest unemployment states in the country and two Democratic senators, Democrats did all right. It was where health care killed them. And they don't understand the American people found this a crime against democracy. I've been saying this since March. They want it repealed. And this issue is going to go on and on. And he seems absolutely tone deaf. That's, my qu but that's, a, that's the question. Is it going to go on and on? Because you've got half of the electorate favoring repeal, the other half not well, favoring the, it. Well, by the way, you've you got a president who clearly doesn't favor it, but, but you've got the GOP saying this is one of their top three initiatives in the House now. Ari, and then I'll go back to you, Pat. Well, the problem is Barack Obama really needs his liberal base. He's not Bill Clinton. He can't triangulate. He is doctrinaire in his beliefs about liberal policies and the good that they can do. And so it's hard for him to walk away from that ideologically. It's also a par problem for the future. I looked ahead in the 2012 election. Only 10 Republican senators are up, but there are 22 Democrat senators are up. Only one of those Republicans is probably going to be in a tight race. Almost 10 Democrats will be. So the, the future for Democrats and how they vote is very, very iffy. Republicans, mark my words, Megan, they will in the House put repeal on the floor. And it will likely pass. And many Democrats will vote for its passage. Because the, the thing is, Pat, I think he, uh, the president's right that the American people didn't like the process by which the health care law was passed. But does that ignore the complaints that people have about that law no. substantively, about how it affects them and their health care and their money and, and the care they get with their doctor and so on? People feel that it is interfering with their health care, that it is going to cost them more, and that's already being borne out. They are seeing, they're afraid that they are going to see the deficits rise, which they will. It, overall, and by the way, this half in favor, you know, we have other polls, Rasmussen at 58, we have Fox in, in, in the 50s. You know, point is, this is a law that's been passed, we were told would be popular. People are now seeing it as more and more evidence comes out. And I think the courts may still knock this out over the mandates, particularly given how strongly Americans feel. But this is, when I say it's going to go on and on, it is going to, this fight will go through 2012. As people find out more about this and learn more and get dropped by their plans, they're getting angrier. 
there was a compromise for a real health care reform incrementally in this country and the president decided not to do that and they've drawn the line on this only fifteen remember this make it only fifteen percent like the bill as it's passed supports keeping it as it is there was there was some irony in nancy pelosi i think it was an interview she gave to abc news before it was passed saying look you gotta do what's right and you know essentially you gotta put your you, what's right ahead of your own partisan ideals and, and hopes for re-election. And that was her appeal to her members who were worried about not getting re-elected. Now we see that so many didn't. Well, she also she said no we had to pass the bill to find out what was in it. And now people are finding out and it's not going well. All right, Pat. All right. Thank you both so much. Thank you. Well, folks,